Uh, he is a full professor of the uh, College uh, of Hotel and Tourism Management, Gyeonghee University. He's a one, one peculiar, uh, the symbolic keyword here, highly cited research, HCR. That were, that stands for is 1% of the world community researchers. It's the number one uh, percent. Look at his uh, achievement. 2023, his paper is uh, tourism management, and also tourism management, tourism management, and also tourism management, tourism management, and also tourism management. What the hell is this? What are you, a uh, black business, with them? <laughs> Professor Spock. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm here. Okay, yeah, th thanks, Professor Ku. First of all, you, you compare yeah. your black business. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just very luckily that I have uh, such a good achievement performance this year. Mm -hmm. So it's quite lucky for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a first question. Um, you moved in uh, your mother country two years ago, and uh, you are hanging the outside of country uh, and the University of Surrey, Hong Kong Polytechs, and uh, Temple University are the most uh, the, the, the almost uh, uh, top tier school in the world. And the, what is the good things, bad things when you move in Korea? Okay. Oh, I, I expect to you ask a question about some of tours and research or data, but you're asking me about my personal experience of my personal life. Okay. So let, let me think about it as a good or a bad thing. Actually, I think, oh, uh, the, the, one of the main reasons that I decided to come back to my country is that I really want to make some contributions to tourism hospital industry, as well as uh, so educational institution as well. So I, ha I just said, as you mentioned, Professor Ku, I studied in my graduate school in US, and my first teaching in the UK, and then my second place was in Hong Kong, which means that I have various of my academic experiences. I was able to learn a lot of different culture, education system, and then their different industry. So I hope that I believe that I was able to provide this very insightful knowledge information to the students in Korea, in particular Kyung University. And then also I believe that I can make significant contributions to my industry, which is the tourism hospital industry. This is one of the reasons I decided to come back to my hometown. And then I believe that Korea is one of the best places that I can accomplish my goal and then objectives in my academic life. And the bad thing is that no bad thing. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, everything is perfect. He is almost <laughs> like, become a politician. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second question. Uh, you, it's a, uh, your domain knowledge and your area. You are expert of uh, data-driven research and big data. And you're doing greatly so far well. But, you know, as you know, tourism business and hospitality business is a human business. And how we can be able to integrate technology and data with the human mind and emotion? Human mind and emotion. Uh, actually, uh, now, so when we get the, the tourism literature or research or study, I always just, uh, tell to my students or some audience when I have a chance to make my presentation. If you wanna see the evolution of tourism literature or studies, it really correspond to advanced technology. Of course, emotional, human mind, it's just a certain moment, which would which make it very difficult to measure the certain experience or the moment when we do not have advanced technology. But now, so one of the paper I published recently with the uh, professors in the Sun Yat-sen University in mainland China. So we had some brain scanning technology. So this is one of the good examples that allow tour researchers to measure their emotions aroused in a more accurate manner, in a very fine-grained manner. So this, uh, I believe, that this, uh, such advanced technology gives us such a new opportunity a new direction to make a more accurate measure what we want to me supposed to measure, and then we can uh, better understand the human mind and behavior. Okay, very good. Uh, the the answer for us 
And you are the managing editor of tourism management, which is the, the, the most critical uh, task in the world because uh, the people want to publish the tourism management. And you, you screen the, the old submission uh, in front of your eye. And uh, from your perspective, uh, so any other person, any other researchers in the world, you may assume the very well the trend and the methodology and the issue uh, ahead of us. Can you a little bit explain about uh, how we are moving forward to the uh, research perspective? Uh, okay, thank you for the very critical question. Actually, I th I'm not that qualified to s say some direction, future agenda to moving forward. But because of given the question from you, Professor Ku, I humbly, I humbly share my observation is that uh, when we review the, the paper as uh, initially, so one of the most critical factor is uh, originality. There are still a lot of papers so adopting same theory or model framework has been largely studied before into the current phenomenon. So for example, like a theory of planned behavior or a TEM model, technology adoption model. When you, if you find some Google Scholar, you can find one million papers easily, but still, mm -hmm. so without any changes, so a lot of researchers simply adapt it and try to do that, or they add or drop one or two factors in there. And they're arguing that it's such a advanced model or so is it have that includes a lot of uh, originality, mm -hmm. but in fact, it's not really true. Mm -hmm. And there are some people argue that uh, we, even though we adopted the same theory or model, but they try to collect data from different contexts. Also, it's not sufficient to demonstrate the originality of the, of the paper. Mm -hmm. So we need to think thoroughly. So what we don't know before, and then what's the new implication or contribution from that research into tour technology. Mm -hmm. This is one of the most critical part, I would say that. Mm -hmm. And then also, now just smart tourism, as Uli mentioned before, I totally agree what Uli uh, shared her uh, insights with us. Data is one of the critical issue in smart tourism. Mm -hmm. So now I can see a lot of papers that analyze the massive data or various of the data. We are in tourism field, which is a uh, a part of uh, social science. This means that this is not the area where people can such a uh, play the data or show off for their advanced of methodology. Mm -hmm. Instead, we have to use the data methodology as a tool to understand the tourism phenomenon in more detail. Mm -hmm. So, you know, methodology, advanced level of methodology, it looks good, but it's not really significant. Mm. But instead, so my observation is a validity, validity, mm. and the validity okay. is also one of the most critical issues in the methodology. And then last part, in my observation, there are a lot of inter interdisciplinary approach mm. has been taking place. Mm. As also just the first presenter, Professor Park in the University of Georgia in MIS, when you look at the author's affiliations, there are a lot of authors in the one paper and they're coming from tourism, MIS, or geography, or computer science, various field. I really respect it. It's a really good way to moving forward mm -hmm. to improve our tourism study. Mm -hmm. However, we need to respect the language mm -hmm. of individual discipline. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants to submit the paper in tourism, mm -hmm. then we have to use the tourism language. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants to publish a paper in economics, mm -hmm. they have to fully aware of uh, language being used in economic scholars or research. Mm -hmm. So otherwise there are a lot of misunderstanding. So a lot of the miscommunication will be take place in the certain area. Okay. So these three parts where we have to keep an eye on and that I regard it as a first criteria mm -hmm. to evaluate the, the paper or research. Okay, good, good advice. One last question. You become uh, uh, the chair of a smart tourism education platform. 
uh, from since this semester. What is your vision and the visionary uh, effort for uh, uh, moving forward? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So actually, yeah, I become department head uh. over the one graduate program. So, but actually here, our panel member, every single of them, they are leader in their university and they in their own field area. So. I don't have to think I can, I, my vision or direction would be influential or important, but if we ask me the question, then I think, as I said, smart adult Korea is one of the best place to do research about smart tourism, to Im implement the uh, knowledge or information we obtained from research into the industry directly. I think Korea is one of the best places. So. Uh, I would like to make so, the department that teach those skill over the data analytics and the knowledge or theories related to smart tourism so that the graduates from that program can make so, their own such a, a play their own roles in academics and industry so based upon the again skin all they learn from the smart tourism department hopefully they can be the industry or academic leader in the certain area okay i look forward to your further reports from now i will do thank you very much <laughs> okay thank you bye bye okay next presenters we are coming from okay jk kim you're late you're handsome jk kim Hello, there. Hi, hi. Can you hear me? Yes, sorry, okay. Okay. I'm traveling. And, okay, and let's start uh, off our conversation. You believe really you are handsome? 